Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and this is part two of my three part video series of my DIY lace up thrift store fashion revamp tutorial. So the first video was a tutorial on how to make the hoodie that I'm wearing right now. It is a lace up distressed hoodie that I got from the thrift store and I distressed it and added the lace up detail myself. And then this video is going to be how to do a DIY lace up corset t-shirt. So I've been seeing this lace up trend in general everywhere all over the place lately. So I wanted to try my hand at doing a few DIY projects so it's the lace up hoodie, it's the lace up t-shirt that I'm showing in this video, and then the next video is going to be lace up jeans. So all the videos will be linked down below if you want to see all three of them. But yeah, so for this one I wanted to do the trend that I've been seeing where you have a baggy t-shirt and then it's kind of corseted around the waist. I've been seeing a lot of different celebrities rocking this trend. I've seen it on the runway, I've seen it all over the place on Instagram, but I kind of wanted to do something different where the corset was actually built into the shirt instead of just having a baggy t-shirt and then wearing a corset on top of it. I literally got this big oversized black t-shirt for 99 cents at the thrift store and then all you really have to do for this DIY, it's really simple, it's basically only two steps. So the materials that you're going to need for this DIY is this grommet material. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it already has the golden grommets built in, so it makes it super convenient. They sell it at Joann's by the yard, so I would just get like half a yard of it. You're also going to need something to actually lace up your corset with. So I went for black satin ribbon, and I ordered mine online from amazon.com because it was a lot cheaper there. And then you're also going to either need a needle and black thread, or black thread for your sewing machine. Okay, so to create create this DIY, all you have to do is try on your shirt. You wanna make sure to get a nice big baggy t-shirt. And I mean, I suppose you could go to Walmart and just like buy a large men's shirt. But like I said, at the thrift store, it's like 99 cents, so why not? Um, of course, I always wash all my thrifted items before I start like trying them on and doing stuff with it. So wash it first if you get it from the thrift store and then try it on. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of measure right underneath your bust and basically from under your bust down to your waist. So that waist section of your body, you kinda wanna roughly measure that length and that's how long you're going to cut your strips of the um, stuff with the grommets on it. And then you're also going to want to mark it on your shirt, um, that area, so that you know where your waist is on the shirt, if that makes sense. So the way that this shirt works is you're going to lace it up and cinch it up. So you're going to place the grommets on either side of the shirt far apart from each other, so close to the edges of the baggy shirt. And then when you lace it up with your ribbon or whatever, it's going to cinch it in. So I just pinned it down and I am going to be sewing this on. And I am gonna be using my sewing machine to just do a simple stitch on the outer edge of each strip. You don't want to sew it down on the inner edge, otherwise you won't be able to lace it up. So just do one stitch on the outer edge of each strip just to attach it to the shirt, and then that's it. Honestly, if you don't have a sewing machine, you could really easily do this with a needle and thread. Um, I guess you could probably maybe just glue it on the edge of fabric glue, but I would really just recommend sewing it. Like I said, needle and thread, it would be really easy. And so once you have your strips attached to the shirt, then you're basically done with most of the major part of it. But then you're just gonna wanna take your lacing material, whatever you wanna lace it up with, I chose to use black satin ribbon, um, but you could use a lot of different things. You could use any type of string, any type of ribbon. You could even use like a thin chain or something, but I just chose black satin ribbon, and I ordered mine off of Amazon because you can get a lot more for a lot cheaper online than like in fabric stores. Um, but fabric stores definitely have like all different types of ribbon that you can get. So I'm just taking it and I'm lacing it up like you would do a corset or the same way you would lace up your shoes or whatever else, just crisscrossing it. And then I'm just doing it tighter to where it's cinching the waist of the shirt in. And then I tied a bow to hold it into place. And then when you put the shirt on, it looks like this now. So it kind of gives you that same effect 
that you know celebs have been wearing with the baggy t-shirt with the corset over it but with this one it's just like the corset is built into the shirt and of course it is completely adjustable so you can lace it tighter or looser or you know if you want to go for a super cinched in look you can definitely lace it like all the way tight or you can loosen it you know you can just adjust it to your body once you try it on and yeah I think this turned out really really cool I'm really loving this trend right now so I think this is like a cool really affordable DIY take on it so let me know down below if you guys like it if you would wear it if you would try it out if you're gonna try it out it's really easy to make like I said so you guys should definitely try it if you're interested um, like I said don't forget to check out the other two DIY videos that are in this series that I'm doing the one for the hoodie that I'm wearing and then the one for the jeans those will be linked down below I will also link my blog down below I'm going to have photos on my blog of kind of how these um, pieces look in a full outfit if you kind of want to see how I would style all of these things that I'm making I will have that blog post linked down below as well um, but yeah hopefully you guys like this DIY idea hopefully you guys try it definitely tag me in your pictures if you do try it and I think that's it so I will see you guys in my next video bye